Um, week two of the mailbag segment. Love, hey, people have really been responding to yeah. the mailbag. I will tell you this. We narrow these each week to four questions each. And uh, I take the ones from Twitter. You take the ones from, uh, from, uh, the, from the email. email. Yeah, but I'll be honest with you. We've got about so 16, 17 that we can't even get yeah. to this week. So, so, again, if you're interested, uh, you want us to read your question, it's um, at EOWL Spotlights or Twitter, and then uh, EOWL Spotlight at gmail.com. Yeah. So. We're not sure why it's Spotlight because we're the coach's office, no but clue. for some reason the 32-year-old couldn't get the right handle. Uh, it was taken. You know how I won't let you. Okay. I don't know. Go ahead. Uh, let's get, so this is mailbag, right? Mailbag. So I got the Twitter ones. Um, right. So my first one is at Milestone250. Um, <laughs> outside of state runner-up finishes, what is your greatest coaching accomplishment? Outside of state runner-up finishes, huh? Um, probably it's going to have to be my daughter playing at the World Championships in Pinehurst as a seven-year-old. But you had nothing to do with that from a coaching standpoint. She actually, from a parenting standpoint. No, I was pretty much. I've seen you the, swing. A I was the only reason that she was any successful at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you swing a golf club. It's terrible. Uh, wrestling wise, there's too many to tell, and okay. I'm not saying that because okay. I have a, a you know this great resume. But you you do this long enough, there's too many guys, too many teams. Um, you know, every time you win a title, it's special. Yeah. A sectional title, a league title, a district title. I mean, that district title is pretty phenomenal when you look at that the, the field that we beat yeah. last year. But Shout the, out to Alex, by the way. Happy birthday. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. She just turned nine, nine. and uh, we're getting new clubs, so I'm excited right. about she that. She can already beat me at golf. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So are we going to rotate or are you going to yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. So my first one is from um, um, at, oh, no, snake trake at zoominternet.net. Hmm. Snake trake. Uh, Steve. What was your favorite warm-up song or favorite warm-up music when you uh, wrestled? We were very limited in what we were allowed to listen to by you, so it was either Van Halen or U2. That was all I could Those are two to. solid choices, though. <laughs> every once in a while, you get, uh, you get Rocky tossed in there, a little yeah. training montage. Yeah, or ACDC every now and again. Yeah. There's like five or six yeah. bands you should listen to, and then nothing else really even matters. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, at our Boyd underscore take top 89, mm -hmm. uh... What is top? What's the top wrestling state in the country? Do you think top wrestling state is Ohio? Wow. I don't even think there's a question. And I think all the PA guys get mad when you say that. Even Zeb Miller said it. he tried to catch me in a in a on flow last year and say that PA was better. I say Ohio's better. Okay. What do you think? The question wasn't asked. That's it's true. It wasn't. <clears throat> okay, it. you ready? <clears throat> um, this uh, this is from Ravenna PE teacher. At AOL.com, hmm. and what uh, what this person wants to know, guy or gal, whatever this person wants to know is, uh, Stevie, what do you do to stay in shape? Right now, not a lot. Okay, uh, all right, all right. I think to stay in shape, you have to get in shape. Okay, so you're out of shape right now? Pretty bad. Okay. I, I wrestled the other day. Uh -huh. And are you still sore? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I wrestled our six-pounder. <laughs> okay. So it wasn't like uh, a lot of weight, but yeah. he, he moves a lot. He does, he does. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm out of shape, yeah. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Um, this is uh, from at panwhacker underscore 33. Hmm. Uh, big duel this weekend with Eds and Graham. Who you got? Graham. Graham, okay. My, even yeah. minus Jordan Crace. That's what's got me shook. I don't know what their lineup's going to look like. Okay. Um, I still have Graham. I still think they're two wrestlers better. Okay. I all don't right. know if one, if Crace being gone is it, but I still, I'll still take Graham. Okay, good. Go uh, I have this one. Uh, this is from penguinwrestler.com. And penguinwrestler.com says, Whose idea was it to bring Coach Don Mancini on the show? Whose idea was that? Uh, I don't know, actually. It was mine or yours. It might have been his own. Yeah, he might have self-promoted there. Yeah. I think it was like an email that went out to everyone, and he was the first to respond. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not even sure we got the best Mancini. I don't know. I, I'm going to say we did. Okay. You say we didn't. So you're going to say... I said I don't know if we did. Oh, you don't know if you did. So who's the best Mancini, including their kids? Because there's some good athletes in that field. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about wrestling or... Anything. You can put Anita in there too. Yeah. Soccer player. I mean, yeah. The, the golfers. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that's it's, the, uh, I can another... say it's not one of the boys. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> I think the boys would agree with you there. Although Nick's having a nice It's a year. pretty pretty yeah. athletic family though. Yes, pretty impressive is. resume. It is. All right, what do you got? Last one here? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is at Oh You Want Another One forty seven. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what this means, but they want to know if you like sushi or her or hibachi better. Uh, I like hibachi better. I'm a sushi guy. Okay. Are you? Yeah. What I like you, hibachi too. When did you become a sushi guy? And how do you become a sushi guy? I think, uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. I, it how was, can you not like hibachi? I do like hibachi. I like them but both. you like sushi better. I just kind of wanted to go against you, to be honest oh, okay. with you. I probably fair. like hibachi. No, yeah, okay, okay. Slob, That's but. fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, uh, last one I have here is, uh, <clears throat> this is from Heirs the Cradler. At Hotmail.com. Ah. Yeah. Um, and it says here, Coach DeMilo, what was your record against Ravenna in high school? <laughs> My record events against Ravenna. I don't know the number, but it was O and a lot. Um, <laughs> couple couple factors there, none of which were my fault. Okay. Uh, Bad coaching? Poor coaching, poor for coaching. sure. Poor coaching, for sure. Don't pick down against theirs. That's, that's you terrible. You went Molotero, you were like, going down. That's a ter- that first of all, poor coaching. Okay. Second of all, uh, the coach at Ravenna at that time, yeah. he would bring thugs from off the street. Kids, I don't even think they were in high school. They yeah. were older kids just yeah. to wrestle me. Yeah, You know, Bird was part of that program, too. Yeah, he was. But yeah. he, I mean, he wasn't the head cog then at that yeah. time. Yeah, okay. That guy. Yeah. So um, so now we got to... What's make- your record against Ravenna. I don't know. It's it's Owen. Owen more than I'm Owen. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know. You re- we wrestled Ravenna a couple times. I think Reedy beat you four or five times himself. Reedy beat me twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, that's not a bad loss, though. No, it's a, so you're right. You're right. If there's going to be a loss, you want it to be an undefeated Of course, I was 18 and he was about 14. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Skill level was about the same. Yeah. Coaching again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, that's Mailbag for week seven, guys. Thank you. Thank you.